Hi, my name's Matthew, and in this video I'll be taking you through how to install Firefox and iMacros to the Firefox web browser. To download Firefox, we first need to go to Google or any search engine and just type in Firefox, and you should find Mozilla.org uh, is the top result there. Okay, so I'm going to go and click on that and uh, you'll come to the, 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 the download Firefox page there's a big green button here on the left uh, if you click that and it will ask us to download the file um, in this case I'm actually just going to go and press run okay but you could save save it to your desktop and then run it outside of there okay now I am using um, Windows XP uh, if you're using uh, Windows Vista or Windows 7 you'll get a, a warning notice probably as well asking for administrator access uh, if you choose yes or ok or run in this instance then it's going to choose it to run and then it will extract which it just went very very quickly there <laughs> so uh, it will take a few moments to install ok you'll come into the startup wizard I'm going to choose next I'm going to choose standard Okay, um, and I'm actually because I use Firefox and Chrome very, very um, often. Um, I'm actually I'm five, uh, Chrome is actually my default browser. Um, you can install Firefox alongside other browsers as Internet Explorer, um, Chrome, or Opera or Safari, um, and it's up to you which browser uses your default. And because I use Chrome as my default, I'm unchecking that box there. And I'm going to choose install. Now, depending on how fast your system is, it's going to take a few moments to install. Okay, and once it's finished, you can either leave the box checked, okay, um, or you can untick it and then find the shortcut off your desktop. And in this case, I'm just going to click finish, and Firefox will pop up in a few moments' time. And it's just come to life on a different screen, so I'm going to load this up. Okay, now to to install iMacros, we need to go and find the add-on. Um, and again, the the homepage that's come to here is just Google, so I'm going to type in iMacros. Okay, uh, then I'm going to click on the top result. Okay, and it's addons.mozilla.org. Okay, I'm going to click on that one. Okay, and then this Add to Firefox button. So I'm going to click on that. And it will download, and it will. Um, you got a little administration screen, and it's telling me it's not verified, but it's iMacros for Firefox, which is the the add-on which you require. And then choose install now. This will take a few moments, and once it's installed, then you'll need to restart Fire uh, restart Firefox. And it was just giving me an option there. Again, it'll take Firefox a few moments to to reload, and again, it just pops up on my screen. Okay. Now you'll know that um, iMacros are installed uh, when you notice that there's an extra icon in your taskbar. You can also find, so if I click on there, you can see that uh, a new sidebar appears. Okay. If you don't get this icon, if you go to View Toolbars, um, View Sidebars, sorry, iOpus iMacros, and then you'll get the bar appear on the left hand side. Okay. Now, if you've got this far, um, I'd strongly suggest taking a few extra seconds to go to the Edit tab. Okay. Go into Options. Okay. And you'll receive uh, an extra window for the iMacros options. Okay. Now, I'd strongly suggest you set the replay speed to fast. You uncheck both of these options. Okay, you also untick show JavaScript during replay. Now, those are exceptionally important because the the replay speed is then fast. It won't move, chop the screen around. It won't highlight the objects which it's found. And um, this is probably the most important one, especially if you're using JavaScript for your macros, is that it won't show the JavaScript in the little console on the left, and it will run as fast as your system will allow. Okay, and as fast as the website it loads in the background and then I'm going to click on apply. This now concludes the short video on how to install Firefox and iMacros for Firefox. Um, look out for subsequent videos where you'll find how to create your first iMacro and some other little tips and tricks as well. Uh, all my contact details are on the screen and thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. Cheerio!